I don't know if you ladies and gentlemen heard about this, but recently Yule Taco came out with its own version of a very classic lure in the market, the tube. They actually decided to name it the Eurotube. Eurotube, Eurogrub. I can kind of see how it is kind of catchy when it comes to the name. So I have the 1.75 inches Eurotube right here in my hands. This one is the gold color. It comes eight per pack. As a matter of fact, I have like eight colors of the Eurotube here with me just to test it out. And the main objective in this video will be for me to give you guys, right, my opinion on the soft plastic right here. Euro Tackle Euro Tube. Does it work? What exactly does it catch? How is it the action in the water? What are the pros and cons? What do I like or dislike about it? Keep on watching and those shall find out. That being said, we also have a little side quest for today. As you guys can see, I am here at the Delaware Canal, right? In Yardley, Pennsylvania. The other day, I was here with my friend Cody. That was the video that I shot a few videos ago here on the YouTube channel. And we actually found a school of black crappie over here. The Pomoxis nigromaculatus. I tell you what, I haven't eaten crappie in a good while. It doesn't necessarily need to be crappie, but the side objective for today is for us to catch some fish so that I can take it back home and cook it up, you know? I have been promising you guys a little catch and cook, right, in quite a while too, so let us be training for the upcoming videos here on the channel, all right? All right, I got everything set up over here. Let's explore the canal for five, 10, 15 minutes. Water conditions did change over here a little bit. The water is much higher than just a few days ago. If we find a crappie, we find them. If we don't, don't worry. We're gonna hop spots by the end of the day. We're gonna have something to eat. Oh, there's one. I guess the fish is still really around here. Oh, wait, that doesn't feel like a crappie though. What did we get here? On the first fish on the Euro Tackle, um, Euro Tube, but it really doesn't feel like a crappie. It's just swimming left and right. I hooked it under the tree too. I came here to the exact same spot. Dude, what? Are you kidding me? Is this for real? No way. What is going on over here today? I think it's a catfish, guys. And it's a fairly big catfish too. But the thing is, I have never caught a catfish here at the Delaware Canal before. Look at that. Bro, what is going on, man? Yesterday, it was musky on the Schuylkill River. Today, for the first time ever, I think this is a catfish from the Delaware Canal. I kid you not. Let me see, let me see here, let me see. I don't want to pop this dude, but it's pretty big. It is pretty big. Look, it's swimming along the spatter docks. All right, let me fight this dude a little bit more. It's trying to pull me to the weeds here. It's in the mouth too. Well, that we are not taking back home, even if we land it. It's an old catfish. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Like, this is a, this is a heavy, heavy fish right here. I can barely move it with my ultralight. Don't even know how I'm going to land it. Let, let's walk a little bit to the left here and see if we can find a little, a little landing site. Ah, that's so sad. The fish got wrapped on a piece of log. Now the log is swimming with the fish too. And I'm using four pounds test line. Dude, I'm telling you, like, you know, yesterday I was, I was out there. Oh, the fish popped. The fish popped. Yeah, okay. I'm telling you, this is just so weird. Yesterday, it was the musky when I was targeting smallies. And today, that's like a six pounder channel catfish while I'm targeting crappie. You, you can't make this up. Like, I don't want to pop the jigs in, in, in the fish's mouth either, you know? But, bro, this is, this is intense. This is really intense. You know, folks, I feel so pissed when this kind of stuff happens. 
Not necessarily pissed because I lost the fish. I mean, I've caught many, many channel catfish before over the years. I am just pissed that the fish now has a piercing in its mouth. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that is just horrible. I understand that sometimes when it comes to the sport of fishing, this kind of stuff is inevitable, right? It happens. Like I said, I was not expecting in like a thousand years that a channel catfish was going to, to, to be the first fish to buy today here at the Delaware Canal. Years I've been fishing this area, I've never catfished before, but I've caught some brown bullheads, the Ameiurus nebulosus, never a channel catfish, and definitely not one of that size. That was like a, a six pounder, you know? Ah, oh, regardless, you know, it's been seriously some really weird days recently when it comes to the fishing. All right, conditions over here definitely changed. The water level is higher than before. The water is murkier than before too. Euro tube, <laughs> I can tell that if we can get a cat in the mouth, you could say that the action is pretty solid, you know? I'm gonna give this a spot here another 10, 15 minutes. This is where I hit it with Cody that day, but so far no signs of the black crappie. And then if nothing, I'm gonna go a little bit above and show you guys how much this, this place actually changed, right? How much the water fluctuated in just this past few days. Let me finish tying on the stuff over here. We're gonna get back to the grind. There's one, boy. There's one. My first fish ever on the Euro tube. As I was walking up to show you guys why the water here is so different from a few days ago, this dude decided to hit. Check that out, huh? Of course, the green fish, the Micropterus salmoides, top of the mouth too. My first ever fish on the Euro tackle, Euro tube. Little largemouth bass going back right where it belongs. Hey, boom! <laughs> All right, let's go there to the lock and see what that is about. A little bit of walk, but we made it to the lock area. And this is actually what I wanted to show you guys. You see the water levels right over here? Look at that. It is very different than how it was the other day, right? The other day when I was here with Cody, there was just a tiny stream of water going that way like that. And let me tell you, look at this. This right here is the lock at the canal, right? I've shot videos here in the past explaining the history of this place. Back in the days, they used to carry coal from outside areas of Philly to Philly during the industrial revolution here in Philly, right? When businesses and factories were blooming. So this lock right over here controls the water flow over here nowadays. And because we had a lot of rain recently, probably the water up here got a little high. So they kind of just turned this knob over here, right? And all the water flows to that side over here. As you guys can see, right? Look at that that goes to where we were fishing over there for, for crappie, right? That's why the water is higher and murkier today. And that's the whole reason why the crappie are no longer there. I know all the holes around the area here. I've been fishing the Delaware Canal for a long time. When the water levels are low, I know the fish are going to be congregated in deeper spots. But when the water level goes back high up, they just could be anywhere. They're no longer stacked at those holes, right? Ah, anyways, this is fishing for you. You can come to the same spot in two different days. Good old cliche and all the dependent variables, all the circumstances are totally different. That being said, I'm going to move upstream now. We got to go to a little creek upstream and hopefully catch some panfish on the Euro tube, test the lure a little bit more to see if I can harvest some bluegill, Lepomis macrocutus, for dinner. All right, let's keep walking. This is one of those days that they call the dog days of summer. I'm just out here, got here to my second spot. I spent about 15, 20 minutes fishing all around this area over here. 
using different colors of the Euro tube, right? And I mean, you know, the action is good, the lure absolutely 120% works. We caught the usual suspects, right? Like the bluegill, the lepomis macrocytus, the red breast sunfish, the lepomis auditus, and even some green sunfish, the lepomis cyanellus. But the problem is the sizes, right? The sizes were just not there. I definitely didn't want to take those back home to eat. So now it is about 1.30 p.m., 90 degrees, very hot out here. I'm contemplating what I should do for the rest of the day. I need to make a decision that is hopefully going to pay off. I think I'm going to go back to the initial location where we lost that catfish and start walking downstream trying to find that school of crappie. The struggle has been real. But... Oh, son! Oh, son! Oh, son! Oh, son! Came back to the initial spot! came back to the initial spot look what we found look what we found on the euro tube son i don't like to do this accent <laughs> what i'm trying to say is i don't do these accents on purpose you know when i shoot those youtube videos sometimes i get too excited and uh, it just happens but yes we're finally getting some dinner apparently <laughs> that is awesome it was a great decision to come back here now that is beautiful I just killed a little fella over here. I put it on the Euro Tackle ruler. As you guys can see, eight and three quarters over here. I got my little cooler with ice inside, right? It is super hot out here today. So we can actually put this fish right in it. There is no minimum size or limit in Pennsylvania for crappie. It is 50 a day. It's like a combined bag of all the species that don't really have crew and limits like minimum size that being said i really don't need 50 crappie right now that i kind of found them and i have an idea where they are hopefully i'm going to catch just three or four for dinner about this size you know between eight to ten inches and i'll be more than happy and satisfied Unbelievable. I thought it was a crappie, it's a bass. I'm just punching logs right here at the canal. Ah, oh, with the sun. Just punching logs here at the canal. With the Euro tube. Look at that, huh? A little bigger largemouth bass, but not exactly what we're looking for. I'm not gonna take you home to eat, don't worry about it. People here, the locals, they need something to fish for too, you know? <laughs> right. Well, now we have to figure out if that crappie was just an anomaly or if there are really more of them around this area. I caught that one very, very close to shore, right? Next to pieces of wood. As you guys can see right in front of me here, I have some submerged logs, right? Big log right over here. I really, really hope that it wasn't just like a lost crappie here at the canal. Oh, oh, fish on, boy. Is it a crappie, though? Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, son. It's a tad smaller than the last one, but it's still not below eating size. I will actually take anything between 7 inches to 10 inches. So this one right here, I would say a 7, 7 and a half. Beautiful. Look at that, huh? Whatever color this is, man, I'm telling you guys, it's it's been good today. And look, this is one thing I really like about the lure too. I lost three tentacles out of eight already, but the action on the thing is still banging. All right, catching some dinner. Boy, it is true we're looking for crappie, but you know what, man? I think, I think this is a good sign over here that is like, <laughs> it's time to call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Look at the size of this little dude. And this one's got a little black mark. 
Look at that, it got a little black mark on the bottom of its mouth too. E son. <sighs> yeah, I think it is about time to call it. Oh my man. They were right about that excessive heat warning. Boy. Mm-hmm. Got to keep herself hydrated. You know, it is not like H2O is sponsoring me <laughs> to say this, right? I'm saying this for your well-being. If you're out there and it is hot like this, don't forget to always hydrate yourself, okay? Anyways, let's finish this video by giving you guys some remarks on the Euro Tackle Euro Tube, right? I think if you watch this video without skipping any parts, you have already seen how this lure differs from all the traditional tubes in the market, right? First and foremost, it doesn't really have a hollow body, which in my personal opinion is a big plus. Back in the days, folks would have to buy that special jig, right? Just to put it inside of the tube, like if you were putting a condom on your jig. That is so 1900s, man. That's what I like about Euro Tackle, you know? Ben sometimes has these ideas that are pretty innovative and really facilitate our lives when it comes to fishing, right? You just get the little Euro Tackle tube, man, put it on the jig, fast, easy, convenient. That is definitely a pro. Now, one other characteristic that is harder to see, but if you look very carefully, is that the Euro Tackle tube actually has eight tentacles, right? And each of these tentacles is actually molded into the product. It is not really like the traditional ones that back in the days people cut it, right? And this makes a big difference at the end of the day when it comes to the action of the lure. Because with the Euro Tackle one in particular, if you look at the legs, at the tentacles, there are micro spaces in between them so that when you jig that stuff in the water, right? You know the action over there is going to be really, really juicy just because of those micro spaces. Overall, I would say that this is a very good lure. Sadly, the fishing today wasn't really the best. We are finishing the day with multiple different species of fish, like five different species of fish, which proves, obviously, that this is a multi-species approved type of lure, right? But that being said, I'm still not too happy with the results for today, even if we lost that monster catfish at the beginning of this video, right? That six pounder that <laughs> very surprisingly bit on the Euro tube. I think I'm going to take this lure somewhere else in the future and use it a little bit more, test it a little bit more. But so far, I do have to say, I like it a lot. I do recommend the color that worked best for me is the one that you guys saw in this video, right? And uh, they have all different types of colors on the website. Another good thing about this lure too, uh, too is, the, is how versatile it is. You can use it with a size 6 hook, with a size 4 hook, right? So you can go all the way 1 8 of an ounce, size 4, which is pretty heavy for bigger fish, all the way to 132, size 6, which is more finesse. All right, that being said, folks, I'm going to finish the video here today. I am getting, it's getting toasty out here. So I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines! and take it easy. Whoa, what we got here? Ah, it's a bluegill from the canal. Wow, this bluegill looks so washed. <laughs> Look at the colors on this fella, huh? A little bit purplish, very clear. Uh, not exactly what we're looking for. Inhaled the Euro tube, right? But so skinny too, huh? Mmm, crappy bite. Very sporadic today. Hopefully we're going to land at least one more. 